We're pleased to be joined by the new women's basketball coach here at Mississippi State, Nikki McCray Penson, who just completed her introductory press conference. Uh, Nikki, congratulations. Thanks for making some time for us. Thank you so much, Neil. I'm so excited to be a part of the Bulldog family. Can't wait to move down there with my, my husband, my son, and my mother-in-law. But um, just really proud to be um, to represent a great um, institution and a great women's basketball program. Yeah, if you look at your resume, there have been a ton of impressive titles that you've racked up in your career. SEC Player of the Year, uh, Olympic champion, world champion, as a coach, national champion. But I want to know, as someone who played in the Southeastern Conference, what does the title SEC head coach mean to you? Um, it means a lot. You know, it means that you're going to go up and you're going to compete night in and night out against the best coaches. Um, and you're just going to be challenged in so many areas. Um, but this is the premier conference. And, um, you know, it is a conference where I think mo a lot of the best players come from, WNBA players, Olympians, all of that. So you're going to play against great competition night in and night out. You have been an assistant coach in this league and a very successful one at that. But for the last three years, you've ran your own program. And I'm just curious how that experience has helped prepare you for what you're about to step into here. Well, knowing um, when, when I was at South Carolina, we started um, the program from the bottom to the top. So we had a blueprint of what that looked, looked like. And then when we won a national championship, and obviously I went to Old Dominion, I had to do the same thing. So there was the same blueprint. Um, and I was, you know, it was really good to kind of go through that. But you got to get great kids. Um, you got to surround yourself with great people. And um, you got to empower each other. And, um, you know, you got to get kids in there that are winners. And um, it was really good to see that. And, and I think those are the reasons why we turned our program around here at Old Dominion pretty quickly. And I know. Um, that's why we won championships at um, South Carolina when I was there. You have a reputation as being one of the top recruiters in the country. And what makes a great recruiter? What helps you identify those winning characteristics that every coach wants on their team? I think the biggest thing is relationship. You got to be able to want to communicate um, with young people and their families and just being able to connect. Um, you know, recruiting is really about connection. Then you have to, you know, sell who you are and then, you know, what, um, how you can help them. Um, but they want to feel the connection. And I think, you know, I know people and, you know, I don't, I'm not a hard conversation and I like to talk to people that are not hard conversations. Um, but it's really, you know, it's really that. It's really about the connection and just really learning them and getting them to call you and, and wanting to talk to you. Like when you get a recruit and they want to talk to you and they're excited to, you know, they put a smile on their face when they get a text from you, that's, that means you, um, you know, you've formed a connection. Now, we all gather from social media and we live in this world now where everybody's opinion, everybody's thoughts are instantly available. But the team that you're going to have on the floor when we get things back to normal here, They've all just about unanimously come out in support of what you're trying to do. How have you gone about relationship building with a brand new team in a very unique time? I think that's been really important. I think when I talk to them, it's really about them. It's not about their other teammates. It's really about them and their needs and what they want. Um, I'm asking them, you know, what do they like? You know, what do they don't like? What do you, you just like to change? Tell me who you are, you know, and we're just having conversation. Um, but it's really about just learning them and, and just, you know, um, asking them what is, what are, what is, what are some of the needs that I can meet? You know, when it comes to hiring my staff, what do you need to look for? Like, I want them to feel a part of it. And, um, and it's been really good. You have been a part of winning programs throughout your entire career, player or coach. And this is a little bit different with regard to the situation a new coach steps into because a lot of times you're instantly looking at a rebuild and that's not the case here. So let's take that rebuild question in this direction. How do you sustain success and how does your experience help you do that immediately? Well, I think you just said the key thing. This is not a reveal. How you sustain success, relationships, and recruiting, you know, and um, you want to make sure you're getting um, the kids that fit 
you know, your culture that fit, you know, Mississippi State's culture. Um, and you got to get talented kids because being in this league and having played in this league and coached in this league, um, there's a certain brand and certain athlete that you got to have in here that can compete, you know, with top teams and be able to sustain that. Culture is a buzzword in the coaching world, in athletics, period, and has been for quite some time. What's your culture? Tell me what your ideal culture is. I mean, my, my, my culture is really, for me, it is about, you know, graduating student athletes, you know, um, making sure they have a wonderful experience. Um, that experience is, you know, being a good teammate, empowering, you know, each other to be the best that they can be, um, and obviously winning championships. Um, you know, and the mindset that goes in there, into it, the work that goes into it. Um, you know, really understanding how to give back, you know, and, and um, anytime somebody does something to you, say thank you, because it, it's, you know, those things matter. I mean, it completely takes, you know, a village to be successful, but really just the experience. You know, I want our student athletes, when they walk away from here, to say this was the best time of their life because everybody was invested, not just in them as a player, but into them as a person, help them grow as a person. You, you've talked a little bit about how you want to mold student athletes. You played for a coach who liked to say that you win with people. And in terms of the kind of people you want to surround yourself with as you move forward, what are you looking for? I want people that you know have my DNA, you know that that are caring, that are hardworking, loyal, um, but really have a servant mentality. You know, our job is to is to empower those around us. But with young people, you know, they have to know that you um, they can feel a connection to you, and um, that it's not just always you know you know basketball. You know, you you have to make them feel like they are a part of something, and um, you know, and that's what I want. I want you know, a staff that's going to meet the needs of my student athletes. When you look at trying to coach and get kids in the right frame of mind and you can't have any kind of real contact with them because of what we're going through right now, how have you managed that challenge? Well, you know, this is day three. I think for me right now, it's just really, you know, talking to them. They're excited. You know, they, they want to come back to campus and things like that. But, you know, we're in these unprecedented times, so they can't. So now, you know, we get to talk, we get to build a relationship, we get to build trust, we get to, you know, we, we'll do some things um, to, to help facilitate that. But I mean, this is the perfect time now where we're able to do a lot of things because we can't, you know, we can't really go anywhere. Is it fair to say that you've turned a negative into a positive? Because a lot of coaches day one, they want to get in the gym, see what they've got, the hand they've been dealt and yeah. you're getting to know people on a more personal level, maybe than what they can do on the floor? Definitely, I mean, I've seen this team enough. I know what they can do on the floor, you know, so that's not the issue. Um, for me, it's about building a relationship with them and them building a relationship with me because, you know, obviously this is a top 10 program and, um, and you know, the players have done a really good job of positioning that. So it's just really, you know, we have to get to know each other. When we get back to where everyone's in the gym and you can start taking steps to what it's gonna look like on the floor, you mentioned in the press conference that your style and the style of the previous staff may not be all that different. Uh, give me a picture of what you hope it all looks like when you start putting it together. I think, you know, it, you know again, it's gonna be similar to how I play, you know, aggressive. Um, and attacking on both ends of the floor, you know, up tempo. Um, you know, we want to we want to run and we want to run fast and we want to run often. Um, you know, we're going to be in very good shape. I, you know, I know Vic's teams are always in very very good shape and they're very physical, tough defense. And if you've ever seen me play, you know, I made my mark on the defensive end. So that's not going to change. And my teams, when I was at Old Dominion, we were one in a lot of car categories defensively. And, um, and, you know, but that's going to be a makeup of our team. So when people see our see us play, they're going to know our style of play. We're going to have an identity about who we are, but it will be aggressive. It will be attacking. And doing the little things, you mentioned that too. What are the little things that you look for when you're building your team? I think, you know, the little things is for me is, you know, how you talk to your teammates, how you treat your teammates. Um, um, how you talk to your staff, how you treat your staff. Um, 
you know, it is thank you, giving someone eye contact. It is all those things are very, very important because those are character things. And um, and as you know, um, you know that go that that weighs a lot when you go in and you're interviewing for a job. You know, you got to be able to carry yourself a certain way. And um, but those little things, those little details, really matter. What was the process like? This had to be different than anything that you've been through because it seems like all of us who are in anything involved in athletics are doing something for the first time or doing it a certain way for the first time. What was this like? Um, it was fun. It was exciting, you know, to get the call from John and the committee, um, you know, to, you know, for them to um, identify me as someone that could lead this program. Um, that was exciting, you know. I can tell you that, you know, through all my experiences, my time at Tennessee, my time with Dawn, USA Basketball, WNBA, I'm ready for this, you know. And I think, you know, to get back to this level, you have to be able to manage a program. And that program needs to be successful. And I'm, you know, and I did it from ground up, you know. And it wasn't me, it was my staff, it was our players, they were brought in. And, um, and doing it at a mid-major level because we don't have as much access as you know, as we would, would have in at Mississippi State. So we had a lot of people that had to do a lot of jobs. We had to multitask and, and, and do it and with no reservation. Um, but uh, it was fun, it's exciting. Um, it was really good to step foot um, in Starkville and just have a chance to um, drive around and, and, and look at the neighborhoods. And everybody was so friendly and waving and, you know, it, it just felt really good. And the fact that, you know, two and a half hours away from my home, that was a blessing because I haven't been, I don't get a chance to come home much. You know, and I, my WNBA career, I was playing, you know, during Easter or things like that. I'm probably recruiting. Um, Thanksgiving, we're in a Thanksgiving tournament. Christmas, that's very limited. So now I get a chance to, you know, see them. They could come up on a Sunday and then go back home. So those things are really important, you know, to be able to, you know, spend time with my family now and then be able to be here and, and, and help me through this transition. Yeah, that that's wonderful. Uh, maybe one of the best parts of it for you, I would imagine. So uh, we're real happy for you, especially when it comes to that aspect of it. I'll leave you with this. And this is the big question, I think, with, with everyone. Uh -huh. You've been to the top of that championship mountain several times. Yeah. You know the path, you know the work that's involved to get there. Mississippi State's been real close. We've been right there just off that peak a few times. How do you get to the top of the mountain? What's it going to take to do it? It is, it is, it is consistency. You know, it is being relentless um, and it's, it's a work ethic. Um, you know, you got to continue to have the pieces you know, in place to make sure that that happens. But, you know, it is it is a, a go-getter mentality. Like this is, we're not settling for second, you know, at all. We want to win that championship. And, you know, it's just stuff you got to continue to do in practice to prepare your team um, every single day. I mean, it is hard to win a national championship and it is hard to do it multiple times, um, but you got to have great, players um you got to have they got to be prepared um they got to be prepared for every situation and um the beauty about being here at mississippi state we are a brand so we people want to be a part of the program and um and to me that speaks volumes well we're all thrilled that you wanted to be part of this program too welcome to the family we can't wait to have you and your family with us here in starkville and we're excited about the future with nikki mccray pinson thank you coach Thank you. Hell State.